and be further resolved that this conveyance is expressly conditioned upon receipt and approval by the town attorney of all necessary documents, including review of the recorded deed in the Sarah Toga County Clerk's Office, meets and bounds descriptions of the conveyance and retained easements, provision of the title report, provisions for all payment of all taxes, reporting fees, and assessments which are acceptable to the town attorney, and be further resolved that there be appended to the within resolution a copy of the recorded conveyance after it has been filed with the Saratoga County Clerk, and be further resolved that in accordance with the provision of Section 171 of the Highway Law of the State of New York, consent be in the same hereby is given to the Superintendent of Highways of the Town of Clifton Park to make an order laying out the aforesaid roads as public highways, and be further resolved that the Town Superintendent of Highways is hereby authorized to post a 30 miles per hour speed limit for the here and described highways, together with all necessary regulatory signs for proper traffic control. A resolution authorizing the supervisor to sign a lease agreement with Delage Land and Financial Services Inc. through electronic business products for a digital copying system for use by the Town Assessor's Office. Whereas Walter Smead, assessor, has requested that a new digital copy of printer be leased for by the assessor's office. And whereas the proposed cost for leasing the copier has been budgeted per the attached schedule. And whereas the quotes were received with electronic business products, submitting the quote of $219 uh, plus 0085 per black and white copies and six cents per color copies per month for 36 months. And whereas the town board finds that the use of an installment purchase contract to finance the digital copying system is a cost-effective way of acquisition of such equipment and is consistent with general municipal law section 109b, not ever be resolved that the town supervisor is authorized to enter into a lease agreement with Dolage Land and Financial Services Inc. through electronic business products for a linear MPC 4504 digital copy of printer system with a print scan scan modules and safety and finisher for 36 months at a cost not to exceed um, $219 per month plus the .0085 for black and white copies and six cents for color copies to be paid from that line is listed. A resolution reclassifying the position of the part-time court clerk as a half-time court clerk. Whereas Judge James F. Hughes and Judge Robert A. Ryback recommend that the position of Carol O'Brien to Below Drive Clifford Park uh, as a part-time court clerk be reclassified as a half-time court clerk. Now, therefore, the result of the position of Carol O'Brien, 17 Tupelo Drive, Clifton Park, as part-time court clerk be re reclassified as a half-time court clerk, effective immediately. A resolution to authorize a pro uh, professional services agreement for preparing an application for New York State Department of Transportation Pedestrian Action Safety Plan grant. Whereas the town board wishes to seek funding for a local pedestrian safety project pursuant to New York State Pedestrian Safety Action Plan, and whereas on November 20th, 2017, the planning department distributed a request for expressions of interest from qualified engineering and consulting firms for assistance in identifying potential projects and analyzing data and to support an effective application under the program, and whereas pursuant to the request for expressions of interest, the initial work performed to support the, times, the town's application under the Pedestrian Safety Action Plan program will be performed without cost to the town. And whereas Greenman Peterson uh, Incorporated has submitted a qualifying expression of interest which demonstrates familiarity with the Pedestrian Safety Action Plan program, as well as a track record of successful engineering, design, and construction support for pedestrian and bicycle mobility projects under the program. Now, therefore, we resolve that the planning director is authorized to retain Greenman Peterson Inc. to assist the town in preparing an application for funding under the New York State DOT Pedestrian Safety Action Plan. A resolution authorizing execution of an operating agreement with the County of Saratoga and the Town of Alston. Whereas the Town Board has established the Boston Lake Sewer District No. 1 in conjunction with a similar sewer district within the Town of Boston, and whereas the establishment of these sewer districts contemplate a joint project to construct and operate the improvements related to the district with the sewer district formed within the Town of Boston, as set forth in a memorandum of understanding between both towns dated October 21st, 2015, and approved by the Town Board by Resolution No. 228 of 2015, and whereas the existing agreement with the Town of Boston contemplates an operating agreement 
reported with the Saratoga County Sewer District for the maintenance and operation of improvements and infrastructure constructed by the sewer districts within each town. And whereas the town board wishes to enter into an operating agreement with the Saratoga County Sewer District to provide for county inspections of the construction and connection of the facilities and the operation and maintenance of the improvements within the district by the Saratoga County Sewer District at published rates for sewer service and maintenance, together with a collector's fee of $50 per home for homes actually connected to the facilities within the town after the first year of operation. Now, therefore, be resolved that the supervisors authorized to sign the attached operating agreement with the County of Saratoga and the Town of Boston. Pat, any questions on the resolution? Pat, you can read the headings and we'll consider each resolution individually. Resolution number 34, 2018, resolution accepting the conveyance of a portion of roadways and stormwater management areas subject to easements retained for driveway access. So moved. Moved by Mr. Standard, second by Mr. Whalen. Uh, John? Yes. Um, Kane Subdivision, it started construction in 2008. They finished the last home that's currently under construction and the road uh, has been built to town standards for quite some time. Um, the top coat went down uh, this fall and uh, was inspected by McDonald Engineering, our town designated engineers, who uh, noted that the road conditions met our criteria and uh, authorized us to accept dedication. Town attorneys received clear title to the land. Um, it took a little while for the report to come through, um, but once we got it, we were able to schedule it for dedication, and there will be a one-year performance bond that will be in place um, from once this board accepts dedication, and it will be re-inspected in 12 months, and uh, before that bond is released, if there are any deficiencies identified a year from now, uh, the um, property owner will be responsible for making the improvements. They did some uh, additional work with the stormwater area, right, uh, after it was built? Yes, that was in 2012, and we have had no additional problems since those improvements were corrected mm -hmm. in 2013. The original uh, design called for an infiltration basin, which means that the water should have per percolated down into sandy soil conditions. However, it was functioning as a different stormwater practice known as what's known as a micro-detention pond or wet pond, actually retains water uh, longer than an infiltration pond. Yeah. So they constructed an emergency overflow in case um, it ever uh, needed a relief mechanism because it wasn't infiltrating to the rates originally designed for and what the original soil test showed. And since then, we've had not had any issues. Okay, any questions? Comments? Okay. Council Whalen? Yes. Council Standard? Yes. Council Romana? Yes. Council Ballard? Yes. Supervisor Barrett? Yes. Resolution number 35 of 2018, resolution authorizing the supervisor to sign a lease agreement with Galage Landon Financial Services Inc. through electronic business products for a digital copying system for use by the town assessor's office. So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Romano, second by Ms. Wallowitz. Hello, Walter. Good. Any, uh, Pretty standard stuff here, right? Yeah, pretty standard. Same copier I get pretty much. It's newer, but it's the same lease I have. I, I think this is my fourth or fifth copier. Mm -hmm. so every three years I get another one. They work good. They're very efficient. It's the fax, scanner, copier, everything in one, and I don't have to buy ink cartridges or anything. They supply everything. Yeah. It's a great way to handle your printing. Everything I do goes through the copier. I was talking with Walter uh, early this morning um, about the, uh, the, the STAR and Enhanced STAR and the need for folks to renew, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. And uh, we, I mean, you can explain it better than I can, but basically we contact everybody uh, by phone um, in letter. Uh, that uh, this is a necessary step that they need to take to make sure that they secure those savings. Um, but you're getting uh, getting them in a little slower this year, you mentioned? Well, March 1st is the deadline every year. Mm -hmm. and it's the enhanced STAR renewals and, and also new applications, but it's also senior citizens, which is a different application. 
both require income information. So um, a lot of times when you're dealing with senior citizens, we mail letters, we contact them personally by phone mm -hmm. to remind them so they can get in all their paperwork, at least get the application in by March 1st, mm -hmm. and then they can supply us additional information after that. But each, it's, it's not as straightforward as just giving me some income information. There's more to it than that. All right. So we have to explain it to them, and it's a little bit lengthier process than they would like to go through. Well, yeah, it's, you know, it's good that uh, we continue to do that follow-up because, like I said, we don't want anybody to right. miss. We don't want anybody to miss out. Right. So we make sure everybody gets it in on time. Yeah. And like I said, we spend quite a bit of time personally calling everybody. Yeah, and all, I can imagine. You know, a lot of them are renewals, so they know the process. They know what they're looking for. So all right. it, it does help. We just forget sometimes. Right, <laughs> right, know. right. All right, we'll stay on them, and uh, thanks for doing that. Okay, uh, any further discussion? Council Whalen? Yes. Council Sandart? Yes. Council Romano? Yes. Council Hollowit? Yes. West Barrett? Yes. Resolution number 36 of 2018. A resolution, was it 36? Yeah. A resolution reclassifying the position of the part-time court clerk as a half-time court clerk. Second. Well, by Mr. Whalen, second by Ms. Wallowit. This was... Um, uh, requested by our two uh, judges, uh, there was no budget impact. Any discussion? Okay, yes. Council Whalen? Yes. Council Yes. Council Romano? Yes. Council Wellwood? Yes. 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 For preparing an application for New York State Department of Transportation Pedestrian Action Safety Plan Group. Okay. By Mr. Standard, second by Mr. Whalen. John? Yes, New York State DOT allocated money um, to the capital region, which is approximately $2 million, of which $1.5 million is being made competitively to uh, three counties. Uh, for local communities to apply for. Basically, it allows us to submit an application for pedestrian improvements. Uh, looking at the program priorities, it's areas with high volumes of anticipated or uh, current pedestrian and cyclist volumes, so our town center lends itself to that. Uh, there are some priority areas that we've identified previously, Clifton Park Center Road and Clifton Country Road in the vicinity of Hollandale, Apartments, for example, would be a great location for PED activated signals at an intersection uh, that currently has a traffic light but doesn't have that PED accommodation. It relies on um, just the regular vehicle and traffic law that pedestrians have the right of way at the intersection with vehicles. Um, the applications are due in March. Um, awards should be made in June or July with contracts in the fall. And this would be at no cost to the town to engage services of Green and Peterson to prepare an application um, in coordination with town staff and submit it to New York State DOT. The solicitation also included services for design and engineering if we were successful, but that would require subsequent authorizations by this board to proceed forward. So again, no risk to the town to engage the services of GPI uh, we went through a competitive bid process uh, for qualifications. We had uh, two uh, solicitations that, or two responses to the solicitations, and GPI uh, ranked the highest out of the two. Okay. Very good. No, they're very good. We're certainly familiar with them, and uh, this, uh, this is a good way to form a partnership before the uh, grants are due. Uh, any uh, discussion, comments? Yes, so one question for John. So this this grant application as opposed to this other uh, sidewalk funding is more safety improvements such as pedestrian access. Correct. Uh, um, it, it's for existing intersections and unsignalized intersections and mid-block crossings. Um, so like what uh, the town recently completed uh, through the town board's authorization for the pedestrian activated signals in front of Clifton Common, you know, that was an eligible 
activity that was specifically called out in this grant application. Um, unfortunately, there's a federal patent um, infringement case that's now taken those out as an eligible activity, but there's some alternatives to the flashing beacons um, that can be used going forward. So it, it's for enhancements at intersections um, to improve pedestrian and cyclist um, accommodations. Yeah, we just learned about that, what, two months ago? Two you months know, ago. They, these these pet-activated uh, signs and signals that we installed in three locations as a pilot program to see how they worked and get some feedback from residents. Uh, then we expected that we would expand on that and place those in additional locations, but we can't buy them. I mean, that's, that's basically what it comes down to, right, John, due to a patent dispute? Yes, it was in the federal manual as a permitted um, tool to be utilized when we purchased them and installed them. And going forward, if they're there, you can keep them going forward until they're no longer useful or break down. Um, and then, you know, unless they're back in the manual, we can't uh, replace them with that same treatment. Um, the, this is the first time there's ever been a federal patent case uh, with federal highway involved, so that's why they temporarily removed it from the manual until it's uh, solved. And it comes down to actually the timing mechanism used in that device for the rapid flashing beacons. So it has nothing to do with safety. Um, it's proven to be an effective mes measure for pedestrians, but um, it was considered proprietary. And until this uh, federal patent uh, court case is resolved, it probably won't be back in the manual as an authorized tool going forward. Yeah, we uh, did discuss this with DOT recently. You know, they're um, putting together uh, some final design options for the 146-146A intersection, and they weren't including that in the package as of now because of this inability to purchase these systems. Uh, so uh, now, we've also been told this could all get cleared up fairly soon, but for right now, uh, we're on hold. Uh, so I, I, I do hope it does get cleared up because we would like to install those systems at, at, different, at additional locations. So I don't know, it's kind of we're in a wait and see mode at this point. Uh, but. Uh, It'd be a shame if we couldn't move forward with that. But it's out of our hands. DOT can't buy them either. Nobody can buy them, I guess. But, uh, okay. All right. Any further discussion? Okay. Pat? Council Whalen? Yes. Council Standard? Yes. Council Romano? Yes. Council Wildwood? Yes. Council Vice Barrett? Yes. Resolution number 38 of 2018, a resolution authorizing execution of an operating agreement with the County of Saratoga and the town of Boston. So moved. Moved by Mrs. Standard, second by Ms. Smallwood. Uh, this is part of the uh, joint project with the town of Boston and a large uh, uh, new sewer facilities that will be installed. Uh, some years in the making at this point. Um, getting a little closer. <laughs> Each, uh, each year that goes by, uh, now we're funding's in place. Uh, now we're uh, putting together agreements such as this one with Saratoga County for operations and maintenance, and uh, we have other agreements uh, that we're working with the town of Boston on. So um, most of the district is in the town of Boston. But uh, we will uh, make sure that Portland Park residents are kept abreast as these uh, agreements are initiated. Uh, the good news is, as far as the agreements and how they affect Portland Park residents, um, you know, we we have uh, and we've discussed them here a very strong set of beliefs as to how residents should be treated that are part of this system receiving the new facilities that they will be paying for. Over, uh, over a series of years, uh, and uh, I'm very pleased with the, the regulations as they will pertain to Clifton Park residents, and they are somewhat different than uh, how they will pertain to the folks in Boston, so um, more to come on that as we go forward. 
Okay. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. Again, it's operations and maintenance with the uh, county as they will be uh, performing those duties. Okay. Pat? Council Raylan? Yes. Council Standard? Yes. Council Romano? Yes. Council Marlowood? Yes. Vice Barrett? Yes. Okay. Uh, any other business to come before the board this evening? Okay. We'll go to public privilege. If you'd like to speak on a town matter, please raise your hand. We'll ask that you come forward. State your name and address for the record, and please keep it to five minutes or less. Now, Frank, you look like you're chomping at the bit, so come on up. I can be first tonight before the crowd? Yeah, yeah, you can beat the crowd. How are you doing? I'm doing great. That's what I have tonight. I yeah, know. I saw that. Watch out. Don't yeah. use the hair, are you? Yeah. Well, um... Got my big mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that, Dan? That he gave? Oh, um, I tell you about this That's a present from him, a uh, New Year's present. That was from the, the Beaver Lodge. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, just mentioned about the tax assessor. You know, when I go there, I don't know other people, but my, I'm not trying to butter you up, but it works out great. They're very good to you. They, yep. they handle it. They let you know what you have to do because um, I don't know a thing about it. You know, he says, here's what you do. Fill this out. Get these papers and bring them in. We'll take care of it for you. So it's really very, it's very easy to get things done here. And paying your taxes here at that time, I mean, that went like really good. All the early payments. Oh, yeah, yeah it was amazing. Yeah. Amazing how, because, uh, you know, I thought it'd be, you know, it's the first time you do something, right? Yeah. And usually it doesn't, ah, you got to, next time we'll change this or that. But, you know, again, it did work well. I would let you know if it didn't work well. Oh, I'm uh, sure you would. And, you know, other things. Um, Careful, Walter. It's probably going to come in tomorrow. One is uh, assessment. <laughs> Watch my five minutes. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was looking at the, um, I think this is a cassette. And it says, Trum, uh, coming home to Clifton Park. And um, what's on there in the picture is the commons. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, some of you are here. The Commons was like, we don't want that place, right, Pat? It was like a big war. And now, you know, we have these things in town that make this town a strong town, you know? So the realtors are putting in parks and recs and, you know, uh, and parks and places that we can play golf and play tennis. And, can I see that picture? Yeah, it's a great, a great ad. You I know? think that's the, I think it's they stole that from the website. Stole the website. Yeah. That's a picture I took from the top of the, uh, Clifton Park, uh... Cell Tower. No, Fire Department. Oh, God. Oh, I'm trying to Cell Tower. No. no, when the, uh, it was at, um... National Night Out. National Night Out, and Clifton Park Half Moon Fire had their huge ladder truck. And they had it, well, I don't know how many feet up, but it was way up. So I went up there and, uh, took a picture. If you notice, we cropped out the Cell Tower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a little nicer. You know, Pat, he's taking my time. He just took about two minutes. You know, what? I stopped oh, it. Oh, not on purpose. Oh, okay. I, I, I did stop it when he started to It's talk. time now for a low blow here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so this is uh, Keller Williams. They stole uh, They stole. But I mean, yeah, that's okay. Let's that's a message to us, you know, that, it, that, that makes why you, you know, why what makes a good community. And you really got to think about what's going on. You can look at other communities and see what they're doing. You can look at other communities and find out why they have so much trouble there. You know, why, you know, what, what is the problem? Well, we have things that, you know, some people think we're a bunch of snobs or something, but that's not true. You know, we want to have a good oh, no. place where everybody can live, you know. Well, I know how some people feel about some of this stuff, but anyway. Oh, no. So another good thing I is, that. Uh, you know, you're none of these students here, you guys aren't snobs, are you? I don't think so. No, no. Really. <laughs> well, there you go. So, Friends of Clifton Park Open Space got this letter that says, Congratulations. I don't have my good glasses and I have an eye problem, so you got to bear with me. Take your time. Um, you have been uh, selected as a 2018 um, Community Impact Award recipient. Oh, nice. Okay? Yeah. And it says, uh, The 2018 Impact Reward will recognize individuals and organizations that have provided exemplary volunteer service throughout the capital region. And we are proud to announce uh, uh, you as one of the winners. So oh, Friends of Open Space is going to get this award. Right. You know, and the uh, award from? Who is it granted? About? The stakeholders, it's called. Stakeholders. Stakeholders, yeah. Uh, and it's a, it's a uh, inspire and equip people 
uh, to act uh, in their community. Oh. All right, so now my, my, this is fine again, right? But the deal is what, what we have such a great community of people do things here. And I think that um, when, you know, like we get this award, mm. and look at the number of people that helped get the award, you know? I just have to be one of the people that have to be there. That's one of the things where I look at it. But I would, well, you're a big part of it. I would hope that maybe um, Mr. we could have a yes, and, and Pam. Uh, Pam. But um, we right. have um, we have so many great people that volunteer in the town. We do. We have the Girl Scouts. We have the Brownies and the, and the, and the PTA people and the mm. and the people that serve on the town committees and all the volunteers. I would, I think maybe we could have like. A volunteer recognition day in town, mm. or a week, or a month—I don't care. The firemen list all the people that volunteer for firemen in the Jonesville Fire Department. And if you want your name on there, we'll put it down. And here's a number you can call and say, "You want to get involved with this good group of people? You want to go to the Elks Club and you want to do something? You want to do something with the Rotary?" And list them out and show what a, what a strength we have mm. that makes this community. But it is, because if you don't have people involved, that's my whole thing with open space. We need stewardship, we need people, we need young people to go to the parks, and then not to say, oh, it needs to be cleaned up, the town cleaned it up. You get over there and give a hand, you know. Yeah. So, if somehow... Well, I want everybody's phone number. To get, to, get together <laughs> and, um, you know, set up some type of recognition or some advertisement so people would join these organizations, see if they're available. There's the food pantry, right? Yep. There's the care. I mean, you could go on and on and on with so many people that do things in this town. And a lot of people are working, I realize that. But I think when I look around, and the more I get involved, the more I think, wow, there's so many people that are willing to say, well, I'll give you five minutes, you know, or ten minutes. And you think, that's not a lot. But if everybody gets five minutes, you got a lot. No, we're very fortunate. We have uh, volunteers across every segment of life in the Park. I mean, it's just fantastic, and it's the volunteers that make the town great. You know? So I, I, I would, I know it's a big project, but I was thinking that, you know, somehow you have days that you set aside or something, and you have to have, you have, to have a volunteer committee to set up the volunteers, you know, and then we volunteer to volunteer, you know. But, uh, I'm, you know, I was in the group, and, and they said, well, we'll pay you $100 a month to do that. I said, well, I, it says on here we're volunteers, and they're going to pay you hundred dollars. I mean, that's what people do. You know, the person said, "No, I'm not going to do that." So um, I just pass it on to you. Excuse me. We'll see how this whole thing goes. You know, I may have to wear a suit and tie. I'm afraid. Oh God! I don't think know, I've ever seen that. Whatever. We're not. I don't think we're going to get any money. <laughs> but thank you. And congratulations. You know, Ohio State had the uh, second uh, ranked. Uh, Recruiting class. That's right. right. Second yeah. rank. We yeah. socked it to Iowa, right? They yeah, sure did. Yeah, brother. Sure did. Right behind Georgia. You and Georgia. <laughs> one and two. All right. Uh, anyone else? Okay. Very good. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Second by Mr. Whalen. Council Whalen. Yes. Council Sandoz. Yes. Council Romano. Yes. Council Wallwood. Yes. Supervisor Barrett. Yes. Thank you.